Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Aquarius, I do want to give you guys a quick update. As you guys know, the past couple of years we have been, uh, for the month of December, we have been doing one question free readings on my live stream on Instagram, and we will be holding a um, another one this year for December. Uh, so if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I encourage you guys to go out there um, and follow me so that you guys can experience that. And what we do is we pretty much go live and uh, anyone that has a question or you're wanting some clarity in regards to a situation, um, we randomly select everyone that is in the chat at the moment when we're going live and um, pretty much uh, do readings for free. So this is something that everyone has enjoyed. So we're definitely going to be doing that again, December the 22nd uh, at 7 p.m. California time. Also, we will be doing Christmas giveaways. Uh, so for those of you guys that aren't interested, stay tuned. I will be announcing that on my next spell video. Uh, so with that, um, as you guys know, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that around this time of the year, we do a lot of giveaways, um, whether it's amulets, necklaces, um, and now with the soap line, we will also be uh, giving free um, soaps for those that win. Again, like I said, stay tuned to the next, um, for the next uh, spell video, I will be announcing how to participate. All right. Okay. With that uh, said, let's get into your reading Aquarius. Now, when I was shuffling the cards, uh, this card did pop out. So this is definitely going to uh, it's your first card, and this is in representation of your finances, with your finances and business. And the card is the Justice card. So the Justice card here, um, you may be dealing with the Libra. You may also be dealing with air signs. Obviously, you are an air sign, but I feel that this is external influence. Um, so if you felt or if you have been feeling like in regards to your business or in regards to the company you work for, if you felt that you've been treated unfairly or unjustly or they haven't appreciated the hard work and determination you've been putting, you will definitely be um, be highlighted for this month. I feel that there's going to be almost like a turnaround of events for you. Um, and this could be, again, like I said, if they not they haven't been fair to you, they haven't given you incentives or they're not wanting to give you um a, a raise in your employment, this is definitely saying that things are going to be balanced. They're going to be balanced and it's going to be to the best of your interests, Aquarius. Uh, for some of you guys as well, you may experience that in regards to business and finances, you may be needing some type of help. Uh, this could represent just a person that is very uh, good at what they do. It could be like getting, um, if you run your own business and you've noticed that there's been a bit of like shortcomings in your finances. Um, it could be because you need to be more methodical in the way you spend or even how you are approaching the business itself. And it could represent having to seek professional help. So whether it's like, um, like for instance, if you run your own business, you may be seeking out help uh, or hiring an accountant, that type of thing. Um, I do see that uh, this is not only, you know, connected to an opportunity coming for you, but I also see protection because we do have the, the purple veil behind the justice and it's really speaking to me. So I feel that it's almost coming in to give you support uh, in regards to, again, like I said, finances. If you guys are dealing with anything that has to do with legalities, I definitely do see that. Uh, the result will probably be resolved in December. That's if you're not just proceeding in December um, with some type of legal issues. But again, I do see it subsiding and I do see it coming out to the best of your interest. Now, in regards to communication, you do have here the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups could represent dealing with water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But it can also represent like uh, experiencing some type of disconnection. So for some of you guys, it could be dealing with a per, a, perhaps a person from a distance. Uh, and I do see you guys like thinking about them constantly. It could be because of the holidays. There is almost a feeling of like nostalgia behind the Eight of Cups. And I'm definitely picking up that energy. 
For others of you, it could just represent um, getting to a point of cutting communication with certain people that perhaps you've outgrown or perhaps they're no longer uh, helping you uh, grow in this path that you're on. Uh, for others of you, it could just represent that for those of you guys that are married in a long-term committed relationship, it could represent having to uh, be put in a situation of having to walk away. Now, when I say walk away, it doesn't necessarily mean like ending a relationship, um, but it could represent like walking away from either confrontation or walking away from some type of responsibility as we do have here the justice card. Um, so again, it could very well just be representing, um, sorry, let me pull this a little bit. It's kind of annoying me. Um, it could just very well represent, um, it could very well just represent like walking away from a situation that perhaps has reached its climax. Um, and again, like I said, it doesn't necessarily have to be negative and it does not necessarily have to be like an ending ending, but I do see some space. So for some of you guys, uh, it could be if you have been dealing with, um, you know, divorce issues or perhaps even coming to the determination that perhaps is best to walk away and give each other some space or to actually come to a conclusion of a relationship. Um, I do see that there may be some distance that needs to happen in order to be able to understand on a deeper level, perhaps, um, the the value behind that person being in your life or perhaps you uh aquarius appreciating that person um if you've been experiencing like perhaps um you've been a little bit taking that person for granted for example uh it's almost like a realization and i think that that's going to come only when you both are being able to give each other some space now in regards to your challenge here so you do have here the five of wands aquarius um this can speak directly to that of walking away from situations where perhaps you felt um like people are taking advantage of you or like people are uh what's the word i'm looking for like they solely depend very heavily on you um and this could be good but it can also be po uh, ne negative sorry it can also be negative only because um, it's like there is a feeling, you know, have you guys ever experienced like doing something for people and you do it out of the kindness of your heart? But then it gets to the point where you start feeling like they feel entitled um, for the way you treat them or what you do for them. It's almost like they're expecting that. Um, and based on that, I feel that you're getting to a point, Aquarius, where it's important for you to open your eyes. And for those of you guys, um, I know that a lot of the times we live our lives, everyone has a busy, crazy life. And I understand that. But sometimes it's necessary for us to like take a couple of minutes to ourselves. It's almost like talking to ourselves or just zoning in on how we're feeling, checking our emotions. And I know that Aquarians can have an issue with this, but I feel that this is going to be very enlightening for you um, only because I feel that for some of you, you may be dealing with people taking advantage of you, people being ungrateful and almost feeling entitled um, for the things that you do. So it's almost like a rude awakening. And for others of you, it could be the other way around as it is a general reading. So it could represent that you yourself feel very entitled Aquarius or feel like if you're in a relationship, like they have to, you don't appreciate the little things they do for you. And you almost see it as if that's something that they have to do because you're with them in a relationship. And that's not always the case. So I think that there is like, there is going to be a lot of like, I see you guys like, you know, when you you're surprised and it's like a pivotal moment where it's an aha moment, I should say, and your eyes like wide open. That's how I see you guys. So I feel that there's going to be, you're going to be experiencing like a rude awakening, whether it's a rude awakening, knowing that you have to put your foot down and stop allowing people to walk all over you, Aquarius, or the other way around. You need to stop walking all over people because people will be walking away and it has a lot to do with the fact that perhaps you could 
you know, sometimes come off a little bit too strong or you can come off as very aggressive. So that's going to be the challenge. The challenge here for the month of December is going to be not letting the people or situations get the best of you because I do see like a lot of animosity and I think it has more to do like emotionally and internally what you're going through Aquarius. Now, in regards to your love and romance, you do have here the Eight of Swords. So some of you may still be dealing with situations that you've been dealing with for the past couple of months, perhaps even years, feeling stuck, not being able to progress or not being able to see change. This can speak directly to those of you guys that have been single for a very long time. Um, and it's almost like the desire, again, here with these cards, it's almost like the desire perhaps to want a relationship, but then at the same time, you kind of convinced yourself that you are self-reliant and you don't need anyone in your life. And with that type of attitude, instead of helping you grow, what you're doing is you're kind of self-sabotaging yourself, Aquarius. You have no one else to blame um, for not allowing people to, you know, get close to you. And the eight of swords could also represent like being stuck and not wanting to change habits, not wanting to change. And unfortunately, Aquarius, sometimes um, in life, it's necessary to change. That's the only way we can evolve. That's the only way we can grow. And if you are doing the same thing that you were doing last year around this time, then there is no progress. There is no change. And you're, in order for you to live your best life, you have to have some type of change. But I feel that you guys are resisting that. And it could be because, like I said, you've convinced yourself you don't need anyone. Um, for those of you guys that are dealing with perhaps a relationship where someone is not really appreciating the other partner, if this is you and your partner is being, you know, very entitled, um, you are positioning yourself in this situation. Like you're not making any changes and not making a change is a decision in itself. So again, be mindful about that Aquarius. Now for your spiritual guidance cards, I'm going to be pulling out from the Moonology Oracle cards. And this is a direct message for you Aquarius from Spirit. Uh, directly to you. So let's see what spirit has to say for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2019. Spirit what is the direct message you want to convey or communicate to Aquarius for the month of December 2019. Okay. Take time to breathe out. Disem what is it? This, um, this amenitying moon? Okay, so Aquarius, this is such a beautiful card. Not sure if you guys can see that because of the lighting, but very beautiful card. Um, yeah, so I feel that for a lot of you guys, there is, I feel like almost like very strong nostalgia in my heart chakra. So for some of you guys, it could be that, you know, the holidays has this thing that does to people where we get very nostalgic. We look to the past or we reminisce about the past. It could be actually emotional, you know, um, emotional, lack of emotional connection that you're experiencing this month, Aquarius. Um, and again, if you are dealing with situations where you feel like you're not in control, especially in finances, if you feel like there's a lot of things that are coming out in the open that perhaps you didn't know, as an example, um, perhaps that someone got a raise and you should have got that raise before them. Um, or for others of you, if you run your own business, it could be finding out that people have been, um, you know, bad spending in your business or, um, making expenses that are unnecessary, whatever it is, it almost feels like very, very heavy type of energy, but I feel that it has more to do emotionally for you guys. And again, sometimes it's necessary for us to step away from the situation, take a deep breath, uh, surrender to the process, surrender to the changes that are happening, whether they're good or bad, and let go of having to be in control of the situation. Only then do you not uh, counter respond with the situations that are happening around you with resistance and the less resistance, the quicker it is of the transition to be able to change the situation completely around. 
So I feel that that's going to be very important for you guys. Uh, for others of you, it could be just that you've been very, very hard at work and frustrated. I do feel frustration and stuckness, again, like I said. Um, so it's necessary for you guys to take a moment to step back, take a deep breath, let go, let go of control for five minutes, Aquarius, <laughs> and surrender to the process and have faith. Uh, again, like I said, the path to least resistance is uh, very, very quick and sudden to turn around situations when we're not resisting the changes or the situations that are coming about, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we will see each other um, in the next video. Bye.